everybody, this is Chris from the Off Grid Schoolie. Behind me you see my bus Zep 2. Today we are going to be installing an awning from Lipper. So this upcoming winter, my girlfriend and I are going to be living off the grid in northern Wisconsin. And we really wanted to have a little bit of outside space. We don't want to be in the bus all the time. So we wanted to create an outside space with the bus and obviously having an awning in very cold temperature will be very beneficial. So today Wes and I are going to be installing this awning. Very excited to get it installed. If you guys didn't know, you can actually cut aluminum with just a standard carbide wood cutting saw blade. It cuts right through aluminum, no problem. So first of all, I'd like to thank Lippert for providing the awning. 
So with the bus, it's awesome to have basically double the square footage of the bus on the exterior. Now, I really haven't spent too much time outside because a lot of time it's in the desert and the sun just beats down on you all day. Now, with this awning, we have a lot more exterior space to hang out, just enjoy ourselves, as well as providing a cool breeze through the windows on this side. So, very stoked to finally get this set up. I'm excited to get this bus up to the land in Wisconsin for a winter off-grid and see how the awning does. Thanks again to Lippert. So we got the install finished today and actually went really well. Um, I started by putting one arm up, thinking I kind of knew what I was doing, but I thought I would go ahead and look for a video uh, online to see if I could find an instructional installation video and found a really great video for that. And uh, after that, it made it very seamless. We put the uh, upper rail in place and the whole awning slid through, no problems whatsoever. Attach it on the other end and basically screwed the other arm to the bus and everything worked out great. We wheeled it out and we've got instant shade. We got the job done, worked out really well.